Howdy folks, how's it going? Good morning. I'm here in a restaurant uh, waiting to get my breakfast. Looks like they had a big uh, party last night, or this morning, but there was a lot of beer involved, whenever it was. So I'm in the little village of Santa Teresa, which is where I stayed last night. There are some hot springs here, but also it is on the way to Machu Picchu if you're taking the roundabout alternate route to avoid the uh, train ride. And so this is part two in this video series. In part one, then I went from the little village of Volantai Tambo, which is where the train goes uh, directly to Machu Picchu. But instead, then I took a long bus ride through the uh, Andes Mountains. It was absolutely stunning. Look below this video for the link to that other video if you'd like to see it, but you don't have to to uh, enjoy this one. And breakfast time. Plenty of bread, eggs, jam, and uh, coffee, but I'm going to go for the uh, coca uh, tea, which is, you know, what they make cocaine from, and that does give you a little bit of energy, so that will be good for the hike. And so the basic idea here is that I am uh, avoiding taking the train from Olantai Tambo, the village that I was in before, to Machu Picchu because it is very expensive. It's $70 each way, whereas the uh, bus ride yesterday uh, was just $15, and then um, this is going to be just a couple of bucks to get to Hydroelectrica. And then you do the hike uh, 10 miles, and that gets you to where the train would otherwise drop you off. Uh, Hydroelectrica, see. All right. Here's my ride. I just hope that my stomach holds. I just have breakfast. This is only like a 30 minute uh, ride. But it might be some crazy curves again. No walking on the tracks. Well, that's a rather ironic sign, because this is where you start walking on the tracks. Oh man, check out those views. This is it, I guess. You just start going this way. This is actually a established route, um, even though uh, you're not supposed to do it, apparently. So this here is the uh, coca tea from this morning, which I poured into uh, some of the water in this water bottle. I didn't want to get the uh, big buzz going um, for the ride here, since I didn't know quite what it was going to be like. It wasn't as bad as the one yesterday um, getting to Santa Teresa, but still it was uh, some kind of crazy curves and stuff. So, going to uh, drink some of this stuff, get a little energy buzz before I hit the trail, or the tracks rather. And so I was warned before uh, starting this hike that the bugs are really bad. So I got a bottle of Selva Jungle. It is like the jungle version. And the bites are really uh, bad. I saw people with just bite... <coughs> Whoa, that is intense. Inhaled a bit there. I saw people with some of the uh, bites just covering their legs and neck and stuff. Definitely want to avoid that. Heavy pack, but carry heavier. Let's do this thing. Here we go.
All right, so far so good. I think the uh, coca tea is kicking in. Got a little energy boost going. Feeling uh, great despite the um, heavier pack than I had anticipated and the bug repellent on my lips. This is obviously going to be a stunning hike through spectacular scenery. It is 15 kilometers from what I understand. That's roughly 10 miles, so that is a pretty good uh, hike. I'm definitely going to be worn out when I get there, but going to enjoy it. Pretty incredible gorge. Looks nice for a swim. Probably won't bother. Pretty stunning, that's for sure. What a hike. To get to a hike through these kinds of absolutely um, mind-blowing mountain peaks, and then be able to do it on a nice, flat, straight surface is uh, pretty sweet. San Miguel Restaurant. Coffee bar. Good to know, just in case uh, I want to get drunk for the uh, hike, I got options. It actually sounds pretty tasty right now, but definitely wouldn't be good for my face. Hey guys, how's it going? Doing the trek to Machu Picchu? It's quite a walk, huh? So I just heard uh, a train um, siren, whatever you call it, uh, I think from that way. So yeah, just heard it again. There we go. All right, I think it's coming. All right, there's another train coming down the tracks, coming around the corner there. All right, I'm going to uh, try to get a selfie like really close to the train without being, uh, you know, too crazy about it. All right, here it comes. Yeah! <laughs> All right, fortunately it's not moving. All right, I have no idea how much further it is, but I'm gonna get there. Some kind of a, uh, station here not looking very uh, happening it's also very very stinky hola aguas calientes gracias all right so it turns out that uh, this is the spot where you take the um, road and it's only another 20 minutes or so so pretty sweet. All right, I'm on the road here. Meadow Posadio Butterfly House. Sounds pretty cool. Camping, there's some tents down there. I don't want to camp. I want some comfort. 
Just another 20 minutes or so to Aguas Calientes, where there are hot springs, as the name implies, hot water. Check out those incredible cliffs. There you go, folks, a little taste of Machu Picchu. That's it. At least a picture of it. I guess this is uh, Aguas Calientes. Definitely a uh, funky little town, but that's what I'd heard it was anyway. So I'm not sure if maybe there's more around the corner or what. Looking forward to getting there tomorrow. Pretty stunning location for a village. I am now ready to find something to eat, definitely. There's a restaurant right there. Pizzeria Restaurante Las Brocas Sagradas. Come check it out. Pretty cool place. In the crop circles. And check out the uh, bathrooms. Just to make it absolutely clear which ones guys and girls. Pretty cool. All right, time for beer and pizza. That's what I'm talking about, folks. The cold beer after an epic hike. On my way to Machu Picchu. So stay tuned. Uh, look down below the video here for a link to uh, part three of this series of my journey to Machu Picchu. Tomorrow I will be hiking from here, Aguas Calientes, um, up to Machu Picchu itself, and planning to spend the whole day uh, exploring there. It'll be amazing. So thanks a lot for watching.